Hello everyone, this is LEGO Toy World, and today's video is the best spinny figures of 2022, in my opinion. So this is all the themes, uh, uh, City, Ninjago, Jurassic World, even the minifigure series, but LEGO has so many ma amazing minifigures, I didn't even get all the, like, uh, there were, like, there are still a few that I think are really awesome minifigures that I don't have, but I'll save them. But anyways, we have a lot of minifigures to cover, so let's get started. Starting with LEGO City minifigures. For the LEGO School Day set, we got Billy and Maddie. And these were two awesome minifigures, and I thought, it's great, we're getting the new outfits. However, in the LEGO show that they're in, they actually got these new outfits and had the whole season basically about them, trying to figure out who founded the LEGO City. And I think getting these in sets were awesome, because, uh... Like, they have this uh, face for her that they made, and it's really nice, and she's laughing. And they have the hairpiece from the show. Um, they did use the dark brown hairpiece, but I had the light brown, and she has light brown and the Lego show, so I just use this. Anyways, and she also has a backpack, which I thought was a new piece, but actually it's been a piece for a long time. It just comes in barely any Lego sets, which is awesome that we're getting it. It's in blue, and then if you take it off, it's just some design there. And I think it's a really great minifigure. She's two little things on her shirt. And I think it just looks really great. She has a really nice sweater. And I just think this is an awesome minifigure. And then for Billy, he has his cap. He has his face. He has his backpack in red. And um, it's like this shirt. The shirt kind of looks like it's uh, the old Lego shirt that had uh, the pink uh, jacket vest. But instead they made it in blue for Billy. And I think it looks really great. He has a white shirt underneath. And then he has the blue vest and looks awesome. And he also has this backpack in a different color, which I think is really great. And he also has these legs, I think for the first time in this color, which is really cool. So that's Billy and Maddie, two awesome minifigures from Lego City Adventures Season 4. Another character from Lego City Adventures Season 4 um, was Dr. Fleaver. She was only in one episode, I think episode 6, with the ice cream bandits. However, I think it's really nice that we got her in set. We got this new hairpiece from last year in a Lego City set, which is great. We got a new torso piece. And I, she also came with Dr. Spetzel in the hospital set. And I think this is a great minifigure. She has a, a face that I think is used a lot, but it's nice that they used it. Um, and then she has a laughing on the other face. As I said, really awesome hairpiece. I love the outfit. It's kind of simple, but it still looks very nice. Um, like It's not too, de too detailed, but it still looks really great. And then she has these legs. And even though it's kind of a simple minifigure, I still think it's a really great minifigure. Um, especially since we only saw her for one episode in only a couple scenes, along with Dr. Spessel. Um, but also somebody else who came in the hospital set, uh, is, um, Mrs. Snoots. And she only was in, like, one episode. I thought this was, like, the pie-eating lady who eat, who ate pies all the time, but she's actually Mrs. Snoots, and she's the person at Dippy, Tippy Dorman's, uh, apartment door that he, uh, opens for. She's one of the people that he opens the door for. Um, I don't know why she came in set, although she is a great minifigure. She only, as I said, one episode from three years ago. <laughs> it's kind of weird that she came in this set this year, but it's still really awesome that we're getting this minifigure. She has a brand new face. I love it. She has, like, a, a smile here on the other one. She's laughing or giggling, and then she has this hairpiece that works really well for her, a new shirt, and also these legs, and the purse piece in a new color. And we don't get this purse piece in a lot of sets, which is really great that we got it in this. So, yes, I think this is one of my favorite minifigures. Um, and she also comes in the hospital set with Dr. Flavor. Um, and next is... Oh no, I just knocked over Mr. Brucci. The Ice Cream Bandit minifigure. And there are two of them, actually. I didn't get the third one because he came in a different Lego set. However, I just gotta get the other one. <laughs> Um, it came with two ice cream bandits, and I just have to include both of them, because they're so awesome minifigures. So these were in the beginning of the show, like, they've been throughout all four seasons, however, they got, like, their own episode in season four. And, uh, Lego actually gave them their own set, the ice cream truck, and I'm so thankful for that they start listening to this show and make more sets from the show. And they also have these new ice cream, uh, cone pieces, which is awesome. This one is in pink. And I just think the design is really awesome. It has a little space for the face. And then also for the other character, her name is Ice. I think this is Cream, yes. And <laughs> these two are actually siblings, and the last uh, person is also their sibling. All three of them are siblings, but the other one 
I did not get him because he's not included in the set, but his name is Truck. So, Ice Cream and then the green guy, his name is Truck. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I think these are really great minifigures. Taking this off, they also get their own hair pieces. Uh, she gets this blue hair piece that is accurate to the show. This really awesome new face where she's, like, uh, pretending to be innocent or something. And then this face, she's, like, annoyed by her brothers or something. <laughs> and then this, uh, her forward torso, she has a bow tie. And then she also has this criminal outfit vest, which I think is really nice. And then she has the blue with the shirt and then the legs. And I think it's a really great. It's accurate to the show. It looks really nice. And I think it's just a really fun outfit for a criminal who sells ice cream. <laughs> the next character is Truck, and he has the uh, pink ice cream cone on his head, and he also gets a uh, hat, not a hair piece, because in the show, he only gets a hat. However, we get the cap piece in um, pink, which is really nice. He has a smile or a smirk on his face, he's about to do something bad and then he doesn't have a double face but it's fine because the cap doesn't cover it up and then uh he has this uh, prison vest which i think is really fun like a prison outfit as a as an apron it, it's really funny and then it also goes on to the legs this thing is really nice it's really detailed um doesn't really need side printing um but i think it looks really nice and then he also has his gold chain on his neck and then he has a pink shirt, and I think it's a real, both of them are really great minifigures, and I love the set they came in. It's probably one of my favorite sets of 2022. So, moving these guys away, I'm gonna put her here, and I'm gonna put this guy, um, here, and then I'm gonna put his hat on, and yeah. <laughs> Next, I think is the last, are the last minifigures, um, for LEGO City, um, is Tippy Dorman, and he, he is, an awesome character. He was the main pro uh, antagonist of season one, and like this is a character that has been needed for so long, and he finally came in the set, the advent calendar, uh, for Christmas in twenty twenty two, and it's so awesome that we got this minifigure, and it's great. It's accurate to the show. He also came with a cookie for his accessory in the set. Um, he doesn't usually eat cookies; it's just the, ex just the accessory. Anyways, <laughs> back to the minifigure, he's this really common hat piece that actually hasn't been used in a while. He has a new face, which I think looks really great. He has a, sh a neck piece so that looks really awesome. And then he also has this tor new torso and then these legs in this color. It's just a really awesome minifigure and so glad that he finally came in a set. Also in the advent calendar, but also in a different set, is Mr. Duji. And in the show of season four, uh, he got a new alpha, but he's actually been a character... Uh, since season one. But in season four, he gets a new outfit. Um, and I think it looks really great. He has this apron, um, and he also has this really nice shirt underneath. And I think it just looks really great. The leg printing is awesome. And then he has a torso, torso printing, which looks great. He has this new face. It would have been nice to get two faces. Um, the hairpiece, I don't know. It doesn't look completely accurate. Like, it doesn't look like the same hairpiece. They also do that for other characters, but it just doesn't look like the right hairpiece. Because there are so many figures like Mark in the show that have this hairpiece. However, I don't think that Mr. Bertucci actually had this hairpiece. But, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> he has a great minifigure. He also comes with an apple in the advent calendar. Perfect. He's Mr. Perducci. Um, But, yeah. That is Mr. Perducci and the last of the LEGO City minifigures that we will be doing. Next, I'm going to do the minifigure from the Christmas set this year from the Christmas Village. I think all the minifigures were awesome. Um, However, this one was one of my favorites. Uh, because they used a face that isn't that commonly used. Nice. They also used this hair, this piece in a new color that hasn't really been in this color that much. A new torso piece, and the legs look great. And that's why it's one of my favorite minifigures. They all came with really great Christmas outfits and ugly sweaters. However, this one is one of my favorites. Like, I like to make characters out of my Lego minifigures. However, when they all have the same face, um, like, speaking of which, Dr. Fleeber. I like the face, however, there's so many people who have this face, it's hard to make new characters out of them. But with this face, I only have had one minifigure that I've actually made a character for with this face. So, I think I could really easily make this into a minifigure, I mean, into a character. <laughs> and she is a great minifigure. She has a really nice uh, vest. I really like it. It looks really fancy. And then she has this red hair in a hair piece that isn't that commonly used and also in a new color. And then... Yeah, as, as I said, the face. So again, one of my favorite minifigures from that set. However, all the minifigures were great. Um, but yeah.
So after her, I'm going to do the minifigure series minifigures. All of them are awesome. I'm going to say my favorites. First is the Sugar Plum Princess. I mean, she... And this is one of my favorite minifigures. She has this crown or tiara on her head. And it's great because this hairpiece has been used for a long time and it's always had a hole in it. Giving a purpose to put this little tiara on top. And uh, actually, I think the first time we've gotten it in blonde, which is really nice. The face, awesome. She has like little sprinkles on her face. And I think it looks really nice. This one, she's really excited and happy. This one, she has a really sweet smile. And I think it looks great. She also has this neck piece that has wings that aren't. They haven't, like, they're not that common, but they're pieces that are old. But I really like them. There's really nice detail on them. Looks really nice. They're see-through and they're pink. And also the design on them also goes onto the torso. The torso is a tank top and it looks really nice. It has um, more of that really fancy printing on it. And then on the tutu, it has more of that little sparkle print on it. And I think that looks really nice. And then for the legs, she has little sprinkles on the legs, which I think looks really nice. And then she also has this candy cane, which is a new piece, which I love. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite minifigures of the minifigure series 23. There's just like the one minifigure that the whole reason my family got this minifigure pack was to get the Nutcracker. However, we didn't get it, which is really upsetting. However, the Nutcracker was an awesome minifigure. And like, I can't show a picture of it right now, but it is super detailed. And then again, I just think it's awesome to get a Nutcracker minifigure. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, but that's okay. Um, the next minifigure from the minifigure series 23 is the Boatman. And I'm just saying this because he's one of the most detailed minifigures. He's not one of my favorite. However, he is one of the most detailed minifigures from that. He has a new face, um, a new hat that's very fancy. He has arm printing, which looks very fancy. And he has this new piece that can be used as like a toy boat. So he's not one of my favorites, but... I do like him. So, um, I think we're done with these minifigures. Oh, wait, 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 no, sorry. <laughs> I missed one. There is one more from the minifigure series 23. This is the elf girl. I don't really, like, like the elf minifigures, however, I think this is really nice. She is, like, whoever collects Lego uh, elves, I think it's really nice to get this. She has a new torso piece, these really fancy legs with the socks and the shoes, a new face, one where she's smiling, and then the other one where she's also smiling. <laughs> and then she has this new hairpiece with the elf ears, and then also the elf hat, and um, some red pigtails. And I think it looks really fancy. Plus, she has this awesome accessory. It's a little snow globe. <laughs> and there's so much print, like so much detail that goes into that little house. And then plus there's also some snow on top of the piece, which I think is awesome. So she is probably one of my favorites out of the minifigure series 23. And, I know I said I already finished with LEGO City Adventures, I still forgot one character. <laughs> so, this is Poppy Star, and she comes in barely any sets, but I think this is an awesome minifigure. Uh, it only came in, she, there was, there wasn't even an episode, it was like a small short episode that was like two or three minutes long, that where she wore this outfit. However, I think it's a great minifigure, it is moving hair, which looks really nice, a new helmet piece, uh, this green piece that goes in front of her face for the helmet. Her face, which is also really nice, it's like a year or two old, but I still think it looks nice. There's a little star on it. This one, she's smiling. The other one, she's singing. And she has a microphone included as her accessory. As I said, really like this. She also has a different hairpiece, uh, which is her, her normal pigtail hairpiece that she normally wears in the show. Then for the outfit, she has a glow-in-the-dark torso, which is awesome! Like, finally, they're bringing back glow-in-the-dark stuff, which is awesome. And even if it wasn't glow-in-the-dark, look how much detail goes into that torso. It looks great. It has a little zipper with the star on it, and then all those stars, and that color is just awesome. And then going on to the legs, the printing is all still really great with some black, and then also the stars and some green, and these things on the feet. They also kept the green color going without it like being too much green. They kept it here on the hands, on the legs. Looks really... It's an awesome minifigure. And she also gets this microphone with the gold top on it. So, she, yes, is one of my favorite minifigures from the uh, LEGO City stunts. Um, so, she is going to go over here again. And, alright, so I have done the LEGO City, the minifigure series, and also the Christmas uh, LEGO set um, for the best minifigures of 2022 so far. However, I still have Ninjago and Jurassic. 
those are some of my favorite themes, and I want to give some good time to those minifigures. However, I do know that not everybody likes super long videos, so I was thinking I would split this video in half and do Ninjago and Jurassic World separately. So this has been the best Lego City uh, minifigure series 23 and Christmas minifigures of 2022. Now make sure to go check out the second part with Jurassic World and Ninjago. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great holiday and I hope you have a great day. Bye.